Hello everyone, today I want to talk about git fetch. Git fetch was a command which I never really understood, meaning I never really got what happened in the background. So I took a look and the information I found is what I want to share in this video right now. So please enjoy and don't hesitate to ask any questions. In the first step we are going to create our local repository, which only consists of one commit on the master branch. In the second step we are going to add our remote repository which will be um, placed on github.com. The third step is going to be to synchronize both repositories by pushing the local repository to the remote repository. While we are on github we are going to add an additional file using the github page and make a commit out of it. Thus we are actually ending up with both repositories being out of sync with each other. This problem we are going to solve in the fifth step while executing the command git fetch. This will be the point where we are going to take a look at what git fetch actually does and how we can use it to synchronize both repositories again. So let's start out in our terminal. The initial git repository consists of one file called file A and the git ignore file. By taking a look at the git log, we see that both files have been committed and this makes our first commit to the local git repository. In the next step we are going to create the remote repository, which is going to be put on github. Visiting the GitHub site, we are presented with this dashboard. At the bottom, you see this button called New Repository, which will represent our remote repository. So let's create it. In this example, I'm going to call the remote repository git fetch demo, and we are going to create it. Um, GitHub is providing us this URL with which we can basically synchronize the remote repository and the local repository we have already set up. Therefore we are going to copy this URL and go back to the terminal. On the terminal we are going to specify the remote repository and thus adding the capability to synchronize the local repository with the remote repository. We can do this by using the command git remote add, which lets us add the remote repositories which we are going to use for synchronization. After the add, we have to specify a name for the remote, which we can use as a shortcut later on. In our case, we are going to use origin, which is the co most commonly used one. Afterwards we are going to paste the URL we just copied from GitHub. Now let's take a look at the following command. git branch-a is going to list all available branches. We are seeing that um, the only available branch is the master branch, which represents our local repository. In the next step, we are going to push this local repository to our just added remote one. Therefore, we are going to use git push, um, followed by the name of the remote we just added, so origin, and the branch we are going to push, which in our case is the only one available, the master branch. Now let's go back to the GitHub page and see what happened. Um, we are seeing that both files have been committed and everything seems to be in sync right now. So in order to uh, introduce an additional commit, we are going to add a file to the remote repository and sync it with the local repository later on. Therefore, we are going to click this link, or this little icon. 
let's call this file file b introduce some text and say edit file b to remote repository coming back to the overview page we can see that this remote repository is holding two commits right now so let's go back to our local repository and by typing git log we can see that nothing changed yet so basically the local repository is not synchronized with the remote repository this is what we are going to change in the next step therefore we are going to type git fetch origin master which just means we are going to fetch the current master branch state from our origin remote repository on the left we are seeing that our folder or local repository didn't change at all yet this for me raised the question where did the fetch end up basically so since we did fetch something down from our remote repository where is it that was the question I asked to myself so that's basically what this video is about so um, to explain that we are going to see um, which branches are now available to us we are seeing that our remote branch of course is available and our remote branch or remote tracking branch rather is basically the one who holds now this fetched data we just fetched from the remote repository it is now locally available but it remains in the remote tracking branch and it's not yet merged into our local master branch we can see this by typing git log origin master and we see that it now holds two commits the one we created locally in our local repository and the one which we created remotely on the remote repository so let's go back in order to combine or synchronize or merge Br uh, both branches I'm going to uh, use the git merge command um, this is pretty explicit I'm saying um, I'm going to merge whatever is in the remote tracking branch called origin um, its its master branch and I'm going to merge it into my local master branch um, which I don't have to specify because yeah it's the branch I'm currently have checked out yeah um, git did a fast forward in this case um, which is some sort of merge um, I might explain later on what this actually means but um, we can basically see in our git log that now the second commit is also part of our local repository and basically both repositories are in sync now so yeah that's basically it hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions regarding what we just did feel free to put it in the comments see you in the next video